Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of soft tissue sarcoma. A 47-year-old male patient came with right lower thigh lump at the posterolateral aspect. He had history of previous surgical removal of a tumor. I asked for the papers and he couldn't show me the exact diagnosis but according to his description, it was probably any type of sarcoma diagnosed on histopathology. In my country, many times, patients don't want to show previous papers. They think I would copy those papers. So it's quite like an exam for me. Tell me in the comment section below about your country aspects. Do they show you previous reports all the time or you have to face difficulties regarding this? Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here on low frequency ultrasound, you can see a large heterogeneous hypoechoic irregular mass located deep to the subcutaneous layer. This muscle is the biceps femoris. You can see the distal superficial femoral vessels here. This heterogeneous mass is causing compression over the surrounding soft tissue. And if you look carefully, you can see tiny cystic spaces here also. These tiny cystic spaces are possibly the areas of necrosis. Sometimes it may contain myxoid component or maybe the product of hemorrhage. Let's use the high frequency transducer. Here on high frequency, you can see the mastellation. It's irregular and heterogeneous. The surrounding subcutaneous tissue looks slightly edematous. You can see this is the previous scar area and these are the necrotic spaces. In the picture on transverse section, you can see the irregular mass here and you can see this is the scar area from where you can trace a sinus tract up to the mastellation. The subcutaneous tissue here is slightly edematous and deeper muscles are compressed. Here's a high frequency ultrasound picture and you can see the mastellation along with internal necrotic spaces. And the transverse section images and you can see the sinus tract here along with the mastellation. This is the biceps femoris muscle here. In this type of cases, MRI is an excellent modality to evaluate detailed involvement which is needed for staging of the tumor. We have put color Doppler and the mass shows high internal vascularity. You can see prominent vessels inside. The lesion measures around 6.2 by 4.3 cm. And the picture with color Doppler, you can see the mass is highly vascular. This type of large soft tissue lesion with high vascularity goes in favor of sarcoma. So we have took sample from a prominent vessel here and it is showing high velocity flow. You can see the pixastolic velocity of 135 cm per second. This vessel arises from the adjacent superficial femoral artery. To understand that, we use the 3D ultrasound. Here on 3D, you can see prominent vascular channels supplying the lesion. These are quite disorganized vessels and the main prominent feeding artery arises from the superficial femoral artery. Another picture with the 3D Doppler. Here I am trying to show you the multiplanar 3D images where you can just take the volumetric data and see the images in different sections like sagittal, coronal and axial ones. This type of CT or MRI like images sometimes help us to understand the internal structures with a single scan. So, in summary, an irregular heterogeneous hypoechoic mass with internal few cystic spaces of necrosis is noted deep to the subcutaneous layer of the postulateral aspect of the lower thigh, compressing the surrounding soft tissues. 
Caladopla shows hypervascularity with disorganized vascular pattern. This feature is concluded as a soft tissue mastellation, possibly the soft tissue sarcoma, which is already proven by histopathology. Now the take home message. Any large soft tissue tumor of more than 5 cm size, which is solid and non-fatty, should be considered sarcoma unless proven otherwise by biopsy. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and try to visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.